Hi everybody, my name is Janet Lee and I am a master's student at the University of Tampa studying instructional design and technology. This time around in the Designers for Learning course, I'm going to try my hand at the bonus challenge where I'm gonna take my previous lesson and turn it into a lesson on Canvas that learners can access without a facilitator's help. I hope so. Anyway, I will be making lots of mistakes along the way and I'll be having a lot of brainstorming happening on my own. Your courses will probably take a whole different spin than mine, but the purpose of this video is for you to see me go through the process and maybe it'll give you some ideas for your own uh, design theories. So if you would like to connect with me on the discussion forums, that would be awesome. And together we're just going to make this thing happen. So let's get started. In the spring of 2016, I created a lesson called Interview Basics, Observe, Discuss, Create. I used the persona of Jeff to imagine my learner. I organized a video shoot with volunteers acting out the parts of an interview scenario. I found a subject matter expert and included her best advice about how to answer the really tough question, tell me about yourself. For my finished lesson, I considered different learning contexts, meaning that different learners will have different environments to learn within. So maybe some will have a video capability while others will only be able to listen to the lesson. I also added a transcript. It was, uh, it was a great ending, I thought, because I had provided supports for the facilitators and for the learners. However, the lessons were tailored just for facilitators with students there. My first step involved creating a storyboard template for myself. I will share this template with you, but please don't think this is the only way to do it. Feel free to tweak it and make it your own. First, I scrolled through my original lesson to find the most important parts I wanted to represent to my learner, Jeff. This warm-up is interesting. I think I can use this. I'll start here. So I'm thinking about my learner and the fact that my lesson is meant to be a good icebreaker for an English course. It's designed for learners with low literacy levels, I mean grade one and two. If I want to motivate my learner at the grades one and two levels, I cannot include a lot of text that will confuse and frustrate them from the beginning. So maybe video is my best route. I have the equipment so I can use that again. I'll have to consider my tone and delivery to hook my learner. I will need another brilliant volunteer to deliver the intro to this lesson. I want someone my learner can relate to. I wonder if I know an older gentleman with kind eyes. I don't know, I have a couple ideas. I will have to finish up my storyboard and have cue cards or a teleprompter ready. So I want to add other things to my lesson that will support my learner like Jeff. I will consider using minimal text in my lesson and when I do, it'll be at a low reading level. So maybe I can use pictures and screenshots of my previous videos to make this instruction very clear for someone like Jeff. I wonder how I can use the discussion feature of Canvas when my learners will struggle with writing too. I'll check back as I go along and I'll be here for your lessons too. Let's create something meaningful together as we gain experience for good.